In this video, we will demonstrate the CT007 Personal Radiation Detector. The CT007 Personal Radiation Detector is designed for large-scale deployment on police or Homeland Security personnel. It is designed to be worn at all times, not weigh the user down, and allow the user to go about their regular duties without interference. In contrast, standard radiation detectors are generally too big and heavy and demand too much of the user's attention to be practical for continual use. The CT007 is very light and small enough to easily fit into the small shirt pocket or the knife or cell phone pocket on standard tactical pants. That way, it does not take up space on the user's belt and is not uncomfortable when they sit down. The CT007 has a significantly reduced user interface. It connects to your cell phone through Bluetooth, which allows the phone itself to serve as the interface. This enables the CT007 to remain small, light, and cost-effective. The CT007 costs one-third to one-half of radiation detectors with similar functionality. This version of the CT007 has only a single button with no screen or speaker. Should you enter an area where radiation is elevated, you will receive an alarm on your phone. There are no wires involved. Nothing that must be plugged into the phone, which allows the user to place the CT007 in a pocket on their person and continue with normal duties. The CT007 comes in two versions. One uses AAA batteries, is very small and light, and has no display. The other uses AA batteries, is slightly larger, and comes with a small display and buzzer as a backup in case it cannot connect to your phone showing the current dose rate in case of elevated radiation. This version can also be used as a standalone radiation detector without connecting to a phone, or it can be used as an electronic dosimeter. The larger version of the CT007 also has a belt clip, and it is still more compact than other radiation detectors with similar functionality. Let's demonstrate what happens when you enter an area with elevated radiation. The phone will sound an alarm. <coughs> You will receive a notification. When you select the notification, it will open the app in survey meter mode. The display will give you the average dose rate over the last six seconds for fast response and the average dose rate over the last two minutes, which is more accurate. The accumulated dose is shown since last reset. If you wish, you may change the display units. The process will be described later in this video. The audio function may also be turned on, which is useful for finding radiation sources. Let's move into a more detailed explanation of how to use the CT007. At the beginning of your shift, you would first open the app on your phone, and then turn on the CT007. The version without a display works in the exact same manner, though the device itself will not give feedback, only the phone interface. Once the CT007 connects to the phone, the app goes into survey meter mode. Here you see the dose rate as well as the battery level, which allows the user to know when the batteries should be replaced. From this point, we can change the settings. Let's change the units to microsieverts and turn on the sound, which will give immediate feedback to the presence of radiation. We will turn off the beeps for the rest of the video, and we'll also turn the alarm level high. We can back out of the app without closing it. We can still see the radiation level in a widget. If you choose not to install the widget, you can also read the dose rate in the notification bar. Let's demonstrate how the level changes as we bring the source near. Let's get back into the app. A Bluetooth connection uses a lot of power, so there is a power save mode. 
Here the CT007 is no longer connected to the phone and it only connects to the phone when specific events happen. It will try to connect every half hour and it will notify you if it missed a scheduled check-in. If the battery is dead in the CT007 or if your phone's Bluetooth got turned off, you will know something is wrong. It will also check in and go into survey meter mode if an alarm is triggered due to the presence of radiation. Finally, we can force a check-in by holding down the button on the CT007. Power save mode is what the CT007 will normally function in when you back out of the app. Your widget will always show you the dose rate on the last connection. The CT007 is designed to be placed in a pocket as the user goes about a regular day. If the user encounters something interesting, the phone will alarm. To go back into survey meter mode, the user will have to tell the phone to go into that mode and push the button on the CT007 to establish a connection. Lastly, we will demonstrate data sharing. Go into settings and turn data sharing on. When data sharing is turned on, we write the dose data along with the GPS coordinates into a database on the phone, which can be read by other applications. For example, if you have FEMA's RAD Responder app running on your phone, it can read this data and upload it to their servers. This allows someone at a control center to receive the data as it comes in and facilitate a coordinated response to an incident. By default, the app will log data every five minutes. You can also force the app to log data at other times. For example, you might want to log data at a specific check-in point and you don't want to wait for the next scheduled log. To log data, hit the Log Now button and it will log the time, dose rate, and GPS coordinates at that specific time. You don't need to have RAD Responder running on your phone for the CT007 to function. The data is there for any purpose. For example, you can convert it into a CSV file and drop it into your computer at the end of the day for routine record keeping. If you would like more information on the CT007, please see our website. Thank you for watching.